Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hope you're all doing well. Well, I apologise, uh, <laughs> apologise in advance for the sun might be, the, the sun might be blazing, folks, but it's a it's a hell of a windy day. Well, as you can tell, trippers, I'm not in Portugal. In fact, oh, well, you've you've uh, you've read the thumbnail, so <laughs> so I might as well get straight into it. So we are back at the start. This is this is where it uh, this is where it all all began, folks. This is uh, yeah, this this is where I shot my first video, and uh, it only seems uh, fitting that this is where I uh, shoot the last one for for this era. So the uh, the inevitable happened. The inevitable happened. Uh, my health has taken a nosedive. My uh, spinal injury has flared up again, and just health in general has become just pff, crap. And it's got to the point now where uh, I can't move or maneuver the big girl about as much as I want. And uh, even if I do manage to get on tour this year, folks, it's just uh, yeah, she's just she's she's uh, she's beyond my capability, you know. So it's uh, you got I got I got to do the sensible thing, folks. So. Uh, so next week, she will be going to. Uh, she well, she'll be going back to the dealership for a trading around for a, a smaller, uh, a smaller lighter bike, which is a shame. For I mean, we had a hell of a, we had a hell of a trip to Portugal last year, and what an absolutely <laughs> amazing machine! What an absolutely amazing machine! But sure, it is what it is. Trippers, you can only uh, you can only do what uh, your back allows, like you know so. But uh, I mean, God, look at this here! Look at this here for a view, folks. What an absolutely uh, uh, stunning setting. So, hey here, do you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand here and I'm gonna yab on a bit for. I've got both the cameras going, so it's not too bad. So, uh, so yeah, look at that. Absolutely amazing. Do you know, I'm actually, we're actually spoiled down the peninsula all this year. <laughs> it really is something else. So where was it? 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 Oh, I don't know. So anyway, I the big bike, the big girl, she's going here, and uh, and uh, the channel, I'm, the channel. It's uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna change the name of the channel as well, folks. It's just uh, for I've been reliably informed that uh, the algor algorithm doesn't like uh, the word fact, so <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's it's apparently it's too much like a swear word, so. To keep everything right and to try and keep the channel going, it's uh, yeah. So at some point next week, folks, I want the channel will change to Dave Stewart Moto. That's it. This that's, that's me. It's just Dave Stewart Moto. That's it. That's the height of it. So right, give me two minutes, folks. Let me get back on the uh, the road and uh, I'll have a chat with you while we're while we're riding. All right, talk to you shortly. And there we go, Kitty Winks were back with it. Uh, <laughs> just bear with me when I get my gloves on. So, I mean, you know, see, when I'm sat here just menu just sitting on her balancer and all that sort of jazz, folks, that's, that's, that's the easy part. It really is, but I mean, I've had it a couple of times where she's leant a bit too far over and all the rest of the jazz there, and you know, it's just, it's painful to try and catch her, or it's painful to keep her up when you're at that tipping point you know it's it was a hard decision it's been a long uh it's been it's been brewing for a couple of months folks and uh i was up at the dealership last week and uh jason he showed me a couple of wee ktm 890 adventures not the rally just the, the standard ones and you know, with that low sprung fuel tank and the low centre of gravity, it's just so light and maneuver maneuverable for us. Chances are I'm gonna go for uh I'll probably go for one of them for even even the new the new nine hundreds. <laughs> too tall for me, too tall. Uh something like the T seven as well. Uh, too tall, too tall, so the eight nine just the right height, just the right weight, so but again, that I do not regret buying this when I did. For I mean, we had an absolutely fantastic year on her last year, and uh, we had a great start to the year and this year. But it's just like I say, folks, when you know yourself, you can't uh, you can't fight uh, the bits and pieces for <laughs> when they say you're buggered, you're buggered. But freaking me, look at that man! 
What an absolute view that is. I was going to say that would be a day for the drone, but no, the, the wind would kite that way off somewhere, you know, so. <laughs> so yeah, so that's, uh, that's, that's, that's the long and short of it, folks. It's, uh, it's heartbreaking for, well, I mean, I'm going to have to start again on a new bike and start putting luggage and bars and all that sort of stuff, but, uh, but hopefully the new one will take me a bit further as well, and, uh, do you know, <laughs> Do you know that's that fucking Norway thing again? See, see this Norway. Norway is my nemesis. I don't think I'm going to go to Norway at all. So, <laughs> so every time, every time I set my sights on Norway, something happens. Either, uh, I mean, what was it last year? The license and all that sort of shite. What was it this year? It's the spine having to change the bike over. <laughs> but, but you never know. If I, if I get her changed over in time, you never know. I just might uh, load up uh, and off I go. So. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll wait and see, but but sure. But it is what it is, folks. It was a. Uh, it, I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you, folks. This is this is a hard video for me to make. For it's it's fucking breaking my heart. This is for this 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 was my dream bike, you know. It's the big girl, the the road warrior, like you know. But sure. When your body tells you it's uh, time for something else, it's time for something else. But however. The next fella who buys this machine, health to enjoy. She will serve you right, and she has been fully serviced and well looked after by the uh, by the dealership. So you've got absolutely no worries with this machine here. So, so at least you know what uh, what you're buying, and that's this is a message for the next fella. By the way, <laughs> at least you'll know what you're buying. But uh, there you go. Right, we'll get back on the road, folks, and we'll we'll have a chat about this old algorithm shite as well. So it never ends, but it really knows. Righty ho, off we go. I mean, you just listen to that, she just purrs when you start her, like, you know. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Like a big kitten kicking off. There you go. Right. So, where was I? Yes, the algorithm. So I've been chatting to uh, a couple of fellas who are into this uh, YouTube malarkey as well, and uh, they were just passing. Uh, well, they, they were they were giving me uh, what do you call it? Advice. They were uh, advice on camera shots and editing and music and backgrounds and backdrops and drones and all that sort of stuff. And oh, here, hang on. There she goes. There goes the ferry. Yeah, look at that. Even at that, folks, would you look at that? That's, that's a view and a half. <laughs> Even for the ferry just setting out. Look at that, man. Good God. Ah, Jesus, look how high the tide is as well. Spring tides, that's why it's so high. Plus, it's been raining quite hard as well. But look at that. Awesome. Right here, let me get out of the freaking town and. Uh... Yeah, here we go. Do you know, it's hard. It's a kind of hard to believe for the heaven. I mean, it was hoofing it down this morning, folks. There wasn't a blink of sunshine about the place, and I mean, everywhere is soaked. <laughs> and now look at it there, as blue as blue can be. And the grass is looking as green as ever, like, you know, so it's a. Uh, by the wind, it's not a bad day. Not a bad day at all. McDermott. That's a bad old corner that for buses and lorries and stuff, but sure. Keep a sensible head and your uh, shoulders and you can avoid just about anything, but uh, again, big girl, she just, she just soaks it up. <laughs> she just soaks it up. Oh dear lord, what do you do folks, what do you do? But again, do you know, I, I haven't got the money to have two or three different bikes in the garage. I mean, I can just about to afford to keep uh, a crappy old Kia and uh, the bike on the road, like you know. Do you know? Uh, do you know if, if it fell down to it? If it came down to it, even <laughs> the fucking car would go before the bike would go, like you know. For at least with the panniers, I can still go shopping. So <laughs> Plus, you get the heated gear for the winter, so you're uh, you're all tickety boo there, you know. But uh, right, getting back to it. Right, so channel name. Uh, Dave Stewart Moto. That's it. Nothing, nothing fancy. Nothing. Uh, 
smart with the name, just me and that is it for in case you're wondering folks, I have a double fir barrel first name and so at the Everybody on the peninsula knows me as the every so. So same as the uncle, same as the uh, the granda on the, the Valor side, uh, Davy. So that's it, Dave Stewart Moto. Bear with me, bear with me. A bit of pondage. <laughs> Can't beat a bit of pondage. See what I mean? Place is flooded to be Jesus there. So. <laughs> So, I, why the channel name change? And like I was saying uh, back in the town there, speaking to a couple of fellow YouTubers and uh, they were telling us how the, the algorithm has changed and how uh, there's been a big influx of the uh, LGPT, ABC, whatever the fuck, come onto YouTube and uh, you know, it's all, it's all about left hard woke tars these days, so they were telling me it's just it's safer just to keep your name and your content just as simple and as politically un or correct or uncorrect just mind your p's and q's basically so uh so that's why we're just uh, that's why we're changing so that's enough of that right bike choice well there is no choice to be honest with you like you know it's uh uh, for I did consider uh, the Africa Twin on the DCT, but uh, no, too, way too heavy for me again. For I mean, uh, just the, the stock bike itself is 230 kilos, and then by the time you put your bars and your luggage and all that, I mean you're you're up to the same weight she is here, like you know. So, but. Uh, at least with the wee the KTM, she's uh, 200 kilos wet and then by the time you put your bars and all that, it's another 10 kilos or so so, so she'll be running, uh, be running 80 90 kilos lighter than this big girl and with that uh, fuel tank down low and everything low set, the, the whole centre of gravity just whooshed so low, manoeuvring her won't be a problem, spinning around won't be a problem, plus 21 front uh, front end so if I do go to Norway at least I can do some of the uh, not the, the off-road tracks but you know the the the, uh, the the gravel tracks you know like the freaking farm lanes and stuff that take you up into the mountains and stuff at least I can do some real easy stuff for that for again <laughs> I'm not an off-road rider folks and that freaking never will be for I'm that bollocks but uh, but yeah, so 21 inch tubeless at the front, so I don't have to worry about uh, tubes. I can always plug a tire and call somebody and get it fixed for the days of me lying about the ground, changing tires and all that sort of stuff is uh, is long gone. So so that was it. that was the deciding factor. And again, and I mean, you, you've the likes of the uh, the uh, what what they're called. Hang on. The uh, oh, that just put me off my train of thought. Give, give me a sec, folks. I'll go back. <laughs> what was I thinking about there? Right, folks. Now that I'm back after being rudely interrupted by that dick in the BMW. Okay, I mean, there, there's other uh, there's other makes and models out there, like the wee, uh, Honda Transalp or the uh, the NC 750X, which is. Uh, automatic type DCT, but uh, again, not suitable for gravel tracks and that. And I mean, the nearest dealer to, to me here would be like two hours up the road in Valamina, and then, uh, then you do have the BMWs and stuff. But again, I'm not going to buy a BMW from Charles Hurst, never in a million years. No, no offense to the fellows who work there, for they're great fellows, but it's just dealing with that, dealing with Charles Hurst. <laughs> it's a fucking no no but uh, but again I mean I thought of the CF Moto for I mean they're up and coming nice wee bikes but again I'm, I'm sticking with the dealership that I know and trust and uh, enjoy enjoy going up just to see them just for the sake of going up to see them like you know so it's uh, that's, uh, that's that's why it's the that's why I decided on the VKT I made 90 because it's my it's my dealership like you know so and I mean they're good enough they're taking the big girl in and Doing the swap over for me and all the rest of the jazz there, so it's uh... 
so yeah you can't uh, you can't complete oh jesus she just feels so good in the corners of the day whatever the hell is going on oh she's telling me she doesn't want to go and it's fucking giving me chest pains bollocks you <laughs> oh dear oh dear I, w I wish i could afford another bike folks i really do wish i could afford another bike what is it with these arseholes pulling out in front of me today? This is fucking annoying. Yeah, sure. It is what it is. I won't hold it against them. Right, folks, I'm rambling on for the sake of rambling on, so... <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's all i got for you, folks. I've had to cancel Portugal, I've had to cancel, I've had to look at um, having to trade her in, my health has gone downhill, blah blah blah, changing the, have to change the channel, I don't have to change the channel name, but I want to change the channel name because I'd like to see it grow, because we have uh, 300 and odd awesome subscribers already and I would like to see 3000 and odd awesome subscribers. <laughs> before uh before i have to retire completely like you know so it's uh yeah we'll keep it, i'll keep it going folks i'll keep it going for as long as i can and if it means uh, if it means downgrading to a, a what a royal enfield shotgun 650 or something like you know or even the new four five twos whatever i'll do, I will do folks i will do like, you know for again the whole riding and vlogging thing is absolutely fantastic for my mental health so uh, i won't be giving that up too quickly so stick with us folks, stick with us folks for there will be uh, there will be new content coming up with the uh, new bike and the build and all the rest of the stuff and if I can manage to get a trip in this year I'll get a trip in this year even if it's uh, only down to the Slago Mountains or something like you know for I was hoping to get the drone and all this year and uh, but now nah, that's gonna have to wait until another time so like I say, stick with me folks, for there is more to come. And uh, as always folks, thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for the uh, subs and the thumbs up and the comments and all that sort of stuff. And uh, we, shall, uh, we shall see you soon. And until that happens folks, look after yourself, get out, get have some fun and just uh, be safe in this ever changing craziness of a world. Tiddly pips folks, see you soon.